CGDIK 2 Smart Key Tool Step-by-Step -step CP8X Super Chip Conversion Guide Did you know that the CP8X Super Chip can be transformed into multiple key types with just a few clicks using the CGDIK 2 Smart Key Tool? Most technicians don't realize how simple and powerful this process really is. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know the exact steps, but also the insider details that make your conversions faster and more reliable. And here's a challenge. Let's hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours. If you've ever programmed a chip or want to master the art, hit that like button right now. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you value what we share, consider giving a super thank to help keep Bob G Motors rolling forward. Before we jump in, quick note. This content is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything I show you is designed to help vehicle technicians, enthusiasts, and learners understand the safe and correct way to work with automobile diagnostics and key programming. We always respect fair use, avoid any copyrighted material for commercial gain, and acknowledge that all trademarks belong to their rightful owners. If you work on vehicles, always follow your local laws and the manufacturer's procedures. Now, let's get into the process. The CGDIK 2 Smart Key Tool is a highly capable device that allows you to convert advanced transponder chips. And with its latest support for the CP8X Super Chip, you can work with a whole new level of flexibility. To begin, you'll need just two essential items. Your CGDIK 2 Key Programmer and a compatible Super Chip, which could be a CP8X or other types like ID46, ID4E, or even an ID8AH. These chips are used in a wide range of vehicles, and having the ability to convert them means you can service more customers without stocking dozens of different blanks. The first step is simple. Insert the super chip into the designated slot on your CGDIK2. This slot is purpose-built to hold the chip firmly, ensuring a stable connection during the conversion process. Next, navigate through the device menu. From the main screen, add in a more function and then choose CP8X Super Chip or whichever target chip type you intend to work with. This menu acts as the gateway to the entire conversion capability of the Siege DIK2, so knowing exactly where to find it is key. Once inside the chip conversion section, you'll see a list of available chip types. These include ID46, ID4 E46 underscore EXT, ID7938, ID47. ID49, IDDSD80, DST80 underscore 4D72G, ID4E, ID48, ITEMIC11, ITEMIC12, ITMEGAMOS13, ID4A, ID8AH, 8A blank chip, ID4C. For example, if you want to set the chip as an ID46, simply select Set as ID46. The next step is to click settings located at the middle bottom of your screen. This is where you'll enter the specific chip ID you want, such as 12567121. After entering the ID, hit continue to begin the conversion. The CGDIK2 will process the chip, applying the necessary changes in just a few seconds. It's important to note that the entered ID must be accurate, as this is what the system will use to verify and finalize the programming. Once the conversion process is complete, it's time to verify. This is done by heading into Chip Identification Copy and selecting Chip Identification. If the displayed ID matches the one you entered earlier, in our example, 12567121, you've successfully completed the conversion using your CGDI K2 Smart Key Tool. This entire process is designed to be efficient and the CGDI K2's user interface ensures that even those new to the tool can follow along without confusion. Whether you're working on a common ID46 or exploring the newer CP8X, mastering this method means you can offer a broader range of services to your customers. And there you have it. Converting a CP8X superchip is really about having the right tool, knowing where to navigate, and entering the correct data. It's one of those tasks that sounds complex until you try it once, and then you realize how intuitive the process is. The answer to our intro question, yes, the CP8X Super Chip can indeed be reconfigured into multiple formats like ID46, 
ID 4E, and more, all with the CGDIK2. Personally, I think this versatility is a game changer for locksmiths and auto techs. It means less inventory, faster turnaround, and better service for your customers. What about you? Do you think tools like the CGDIK2 are the future of chip programming, or will there always be a place for dedicated single type blanks? Share your thoughts below. And here's a quick tip always keep your CGDIK2 firmware updated. New chip types and features are often added through software updates and staying current means you won't miss out on the latest capabilities. If this guide helped you, let's crush that goal. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Smash the like button, drop your feedback in the comments, share this with fellow technicians, and subscribe to Bobji Motors for more in-depth automotive programming tutorials. Thanks for sticking with me till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.